my channel Pyle's recipe. Today I'm going to show you everyone's favorite pav bhaji and it's very simple and let's get started. The ingredients for this recipe are potatoes. I have 3 potatoes cut into large chunks. These are the dried green peas that I have soaked overnight. You can also use the fresh peas but this dried peas gives a unique flavor. Then I have 3 chopped tomatoes, 1 large chopped onion, some carrots. This is the kasuri methi, cilantro. I have some green chilies, the 2 green chilies, 3 to 4 large cloves of garlic. I have 1 bell pepper cut into pieces, some butter, oil. And this is pav bhaji masala. This is about 3 to 4 teaspoons of pav bhaji masala. This is 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder or degi mirch powder, Kashmiri lal mirch just for color. Some uh, tomato puree for color and a teaspoon of salt, 1 to 1 and a half teaspoons. This is based depending on your taste. And I have 1 squeezed lime. And the most important thing is pav. First thing I need to do is boil all these vegetables. First thing I add the green peas, then I add the chopped potatoes. I've already washed all these vegetables. I'm just putting these in here. Then goes the carrots and the bell peppers. Apart from that, I need to add these cloves of garlic, green chilies, and a little bit of water. And I'm just going to pressure cook this for about 10-15 minutes for 4-5 to five whistles. So while the vegetables are boiling or cooking in the pressure cooker, let's make the tarka for the bhaji. First goes in the oil, heat the pan as well, let the oil heat, I'm going to add the onions, let's cook the onions till they're slightly brown. The onions are brown and now we add the tomatoes, saute the tomatoes. And we also add the paste, tomato puree. Now we mix everything together. Let the tomatoes cook. We also add the red chili powder and the salt along with the pav bhaji masala. and the kasuri methi. Kasuri methi is a secret ingredient which gives a very delicious flavor. And now I just cover it and keep it for about five minutes. So while the tomatoes are sorting, let's see if the vegetables are cooked. Yeah, and then with this pav bhaji masher, I just mash these vegetables. I don't want to make a fine paste, but at least coarse paste. So I've mashed all the vegetables that I had in this and I need to now mix it in the onions and tomatoes. Okay, so let's see. Our tomatoes have been cooking and now I add this paste into this. Okay, so now I mix everything together. While boiling the vegetables in the pressure cooker, I did add a teaspoon or two teaspoons of salt and a little bit of salt in the bhaji as well. So I just mix everything and I add some butter as well because pav bhaji has a lot of butter. 
so don't be scared to use butter and I add a little bit of cilantro now I'm just going to cover this and keep it for about 5-10 minutes so all the masalas and the vegetables infuse with each other so our bhaji has been cooking and now I'm going to add this lime juice and I use the Bacha brand Pau Bhaji Masala but you can use any brand but generally I use the Bacha brand and you can also add some food color if you want to but I haven't added any so now let's toast the Pau so we take this Tawa and heat it I add some butter let the butter melt I also add some cilantro leaves and some red chili powder okay. now I place these paos that I've cut into pieces and the pav bhaji is now ready a quick delicious and easy pav bhaji is now ready do try this at home with the ingredients that i showed you and add your comments to my channel pile's recipe and don't forget to subscribe till next time bye bye